Now we are porting a K24 RBB casting head that's going to be running Drag Cartel 4.0 OG series cams for a build that's for a fellow on the islands of Hawaii or on the Hawaiian islands. This is going to be a fun project for him. So we're going to work on the head ports here. We're going to discuss all the things that we do, including the details on how we do the chamber work like this and of course all the other stuff that we're gonna do and then talk about the intake manifold options that we have his setup like this so yup let's go Now here's the K24 RBB casting on our hands. Yes, and it's actually it's actually has been cleaned up a bit but unfinished including the chambers as you can see the chambers are bone stock, right? So yep, we're going to clean up the chambers and finish the head and every detail with you guys. So yep. Now here, let's go closer to the chamber here. And if you remember on the GSR video that we did here, we actually talked about this. We're going to clean up this ridges, this line, so that it won't be prone to pre-ignition and won't develop hot spots or, you know, have a heat sink on certain sections. This way, the combustion is more uniform, tightly packed, and that produces more power or, you know, has an ability to produce even better or more power efficiently. Okay, so now let's go to the porting bench here. Here, okay, we start with, you know, we lubricate this. Actually, now we change this to around 50% 50, 50 ethanol and 50% soapy water because it's nearing summer here. So it's drying up quickly. So we added more on the volume for the soapy water. All right, let me speed this up. Yes, this is the second pass now on the 80 grit. We might do a, a few more, like maybe a third pass or a fourth pass just to get the texture that we need and we desire. Well, of course, with proper lubrication. Yes, and so of course, to, to also eliminate all the possible bumps or ridges that's not good for flow. All right. Yep. Okay, now let's look at it closer. Oh, yeah. It's getting there, it's getting there. All right, now let's flip the head. Let's go onto the intake bowls. This is 120 grit now, the sanding roll that we're using because that's what we always do with, with a bowl on the intake and the exhaust. We always go 120 grit. All right, okay. And now because we're on 120 grit on the porting Makita, let's go to the exhaust port now. This way we don't have to change the bit right away. Makita grinder, sorry. All right, there you go. Getting closer. Yep. Okay, now let's wash this up and let's go to the clean workbench. Here we are now, all cleaned up. Let's look at that. Now oh, it's looking really, really good, right? It's starting to get there. Yep, no, the port finish is good, it's pretty decent. Now let's look at it closer here with lighting. Oh yeah. And actually, you know, to most, this would be good enough. And it's actually, it's okay to run this like this as is, but there's some spots or some areas, there's a few bumps I'm not satisfied with. So we're gonna get this finished real good with some more passes. All right, now let's go to the exhaust here. Look at that. Oh yeah, it's all ready, it's all good. Let's look at it close. Here, as you can see, there's some areas, you, you can't really see it, but I can feel it when, you know, I run my fingers to it. There's like a, you know, you, there's some bumps or ridges that's inconsistent, so we're gonna clean that up. So now let's move back here. Now let's check, let me show you the chambers here on this side because the intake is on the upper side here we're gonna round this off we don't really remove it we're just gonna run so soften it around this off so that there's no ridge so it's, it's not gonna be like a potential hot spot to be prone to pre-ignition on both sides and this but you don't totally remove it because that's sort of an extension of the top cut of the three angle valve job 
from the factory so when we get to do a valve job here we're going to clean it up and make sure it's accordingly so that you know the discharge coefficient is pretty good and pretty consistent and yes if you're liking this video hit the like button as that helps the video gain more activity and the algorithm will pick it up and bring it out to a wider audience so a few likes is definitely much appreciated and if you haven't you can subscribe this way whenever we have a new upload you guys can check it out we always constantly share what we do at the shop so subscribe this way you're going to be part of our community all right yeah now let's go back to the porting bench now on here we are we're gonna put some mock-up valves on the chamber this way we protect the seats there you go okay now we do this is already 120 grit, so it doesn't really carve up enough. It won't change the volume as much. So when we check the CC volume on each chamber, it's not so far off. So it's going to be easy to equalize all of them. All right now, we're cleaning it up, making sure all the bumps and ridges are gone or smoothed out at least. The next one. Yep. And the good thing with this, this, this is the one thing I like about the K series and even the B series, because it doesn't really, it hasn't really run too long or too bad with bad, you know, tune. The carbon buildup is easy to remove, and you see it's getting partially rounded off. There's still some ridges there, so we're gonna continue to do some stuff on this. But of course, this is already good. We did a few more passes we didn't get to record it that's why it skipped that sorry about that you see now it's about a lot cleaner than usual and yes because we're gonna do a few more passes on the intake and then the exhaust to get the finish good according to how we like it so we're gonna do a few more passes on the chamber and now we're gonna clean it so now let's go i mean let's go to the workbench okay now here it's all cleaned up Yep, and you can see the port finish now is a lot more consistent. It's really good. It's, this is how I like it. Yep, you can see the port sidewalls are very, very consistent. Now let's look a little closer with better lighting. Here you go. Would you look at that? That's a beauty right there. You can see the port sidewalls, the transition onto the band, into the seat, or onto the seat is actually really, really good and consistent. That's trick and that's hard and that's actually where dave colaglio owner of head games did say you can make or you can gain or lose a lot of flow on the short term so you gotta know what you're doing all right now let's look at it again with a slightly lower angle you can see how the light is yes you can see how consistent it is we actually like to use a view of the light with the light like this to show us if there's bumps or ridges because light don't lie you know if it bends it will show through the light as you can see here the short turn is going really good on the other side perfect yep and even above slightly above you can see there yep this is good so now let's move back a bit here wait let me tilt this head up, upside down there you can see the chambers is actually really, really good now wait let me tilt this so they can show you the chambers well here it is so the ports the intake ports are on the lower part so you can see it's rounded off there's no ridges it's softened up actually you know the the lines are the streaks yep wait let me turn this to show you better here you can see wait there you can see it's all smooth and it's all there's no more sharp sharp edge or line that could be a hot spot so this is perfect yep and now here let's show it again you can see so after a valve job this may have a bit more ridge again and we're going to clean it up after of course finally and lastly we check the cc of the chamber on each so now let's look at the exhaust ports let's go let's go here it is now oh yeah look at those exhausts it's starting to look really good right it's actually good now here's close yes as you can see you know we tried to keep it as round as possible from the 
valve seat all the way to the throat all the way to the how it merges as to one port so that you can see light shows you it's curving really well consistently there's no unusual bumps or ridges you see there from the top well that's the floor of course because the head is inverted let's look at the pictures here you can see the bow and you can see before before the seat we didn't really touch that ledge because we can you know carve it out but it's gonna be too big so it's gonna kill velocity so now let's look at the chambers again on the other side let's tilt this okay careful oh, we don't want to bang the head okay you can see the short turn is really really good right yep now slowly here up there okay yep and the chamber is gonna get cc'd all equally and we're gonna check on this combustion chamber volume before the valve seat we got the valve job and then after because it, it slightly changes sometimes so we make sure it's equal at the end part when when, when the final assembly is done so it's gonna be good and of course it'll receive new super tech valve guys as the owner is sending it to us so we're gonna have that changed and yes that's gonna be all good after the valve job yes and of course here are all the other parts that the owner has this valve train super tech valve train set is on the way to us including valve guides so we're going to be doing a three angle valve job after this and of course the owner has the drag cartel 4.0 og series cams so this is gonna work really really good with the head and to complement this a skunk to ultra intake manifold this is perfect it'll let the engine breathe really good and the header that's locally fabricated in california i forgot the name he mentioned but this is gonna be really good yep this setup is gonna be something really really cool and the piston is 3.5 to 1 compression but also they also moved up to 88 millimeter bore so yep this is gonna be doing really good and actually they're hoping to reach 300 wheel horsepower and that is something i know they can reach with a proper head like this that we did so it's gonna be really really a fun project for them and of course once we get the valve guys installed we'll have more updates on the page and of course when they reach the goal we'll still post it in the page but for now you can see the k28 type r head here